Welcome to the Bottom Line Me podcast, where we like to talk about some sales challenges and other hot topics in the title insurance industry. I'm Ian Allard, and today I'm really delighted to have with me our video producer and editor, Andrew Herbert. Andrew, it's great to have you. Thanks for finally having me on. Great. Well, Andrew's usually behind the scenes. Um, We thought we'd bring him out front to talk a little bit about something that I think a lot of sales professionals are trying to learn how to do, and that is communicate via video marketing. So, Andrew, it is becoming an essential skill for sales professionals and an additional way for them to get in front of customers or to develop relationships or rapports with customers. What would you suggest is if somebody's just getting started, how do you begin to do this? Um, biggest takeaway is just like, don't overthink it. Just start with your, most people have a smartphone and has a great camera on it already. Mm -hmm. Start with that. Don't go out buying a camera. Don't be shopping around for what's the best camera to do this with. What's the best audio? What's the best lighting? You already have a phone with a camera. Start with that. Mm -hmm. And so what's next? What do you do after after you turn the camera on? Are there any other tips you can give us so that we're sure that um, uh, we're coming across professionally? I would start before you turn the camera on. <laughs> um, prepare. Know what you want to talk about. Yeah. Um, you can script it out. Some people are better without like a word-for-word script and better with just an outline. Mm-hmm. Um, but just know what you want to discuss ah. before before turning that camera on. Okay. And so once you finish the the video, then what? What do you do then? Depending on what your goals are, you're uh, posting it to platforms or um, emailing videos directly. I mean, um, YouTube's a great place to post. Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, they're a great place to post videos. How difficult is it? Is it to? I mean, I'm somebody that doesn't do that sort of thing very often, and if if I were to record a message or um, an idea or wanted to talk about something on a video, then what would I do? I save it on my phone and then do I just upload it to my computer or are there other ways to you, do it? You don't even have to, you do not have to communicate with your computer at all. Really? <laughs> yeah. A lot of these platforms you can record directly in platform or you can upload your video right from your phone, That's right amazing. in your camera. Wow. That's amazing. Um, so how about the content or the or the length of time that you're doing these things? Do you have any tips or or suggestions on, particularly for somebody that's just getting started with this? Be real quick. Start with 30 seconds to a minute. Mm-hmm. Don't go too long. Anything longer than a minute when you have no audience mm-hmm. is not going to be helpful. <laughs> not? No. Anything that you should stay away from? No. Okay. Depends on what you want to do for your brand. Okay. If you want to have a personal brand and you want to be known as a certain type of person, stick, you know, pr- primarily with that type of content. Once in a while, post the family, post um, your dogs, but mostly you want to stick with what you want people knowing you for. Mm-hmm. And how about asking for business or referrals? Is, is this a good way to do that? It's not the worst thing in the world. Oh. Um, you can post directly sales related content. But you're going to find that your audience isn't growing. They're not going to want to see straight sales videos all the time. Right. The best approach currently is content marketing. Become the knowledgeable resource. Become the subject matter expert. And don't just say, buy me, buy me, buy me. Got it. Got it. So the opposite of that, or in addition to that, somebody that wanted to do some targeted messaging Let's say you have a salesperson that's been trying to get in front of, you know, a, a prospect for a while, and they just can't seem to get that appointment. Um, I've heard some people will send a video message that's directly um, targeted at that person. Is there are there any variables there, or is it is it the same process? Very similar process. Um, you record your video. I what we've done in the past is research your prospect, mm-hmm. um, find out if they have any awards have they won anything are they um, specialized in a certain area and record a quick message just say hi i'm andrew i've noticed you won xyz award that's very impressive i would love to get to know you a little bit more just um meet for coffee just keep it real brief don't don't necessarily pitch everything 
you are right away. Right. Just quickly introduce yourself. Here's my position in the industry, but I would love to talk to you. Ah, okay. That's great. What, you know, before we, uh, we finish up and I ask you to bottom line me on this, what about audio messaging as opposed to video? Are there any, you know, advantages or disadvantages or are there some situations when you should choose one over the other or does it not matter? Or do you just stay away from audio? Uh, you can do audio. Okay. I haven't really heard of um, great platforms for audio messaging other than, you know, uh, calling them up. And hopefully the old-fashioned way. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully you get the voicemail. Right. Um, I know you can, you know, message audio notes. Mm -hmm. um, hey, if it's, a, if it's a route nobody else is taking, try sending them an audio note. Interesting. Okay. So, as you know, we like to get the bottom line on a topic whenever we meet and talk with someone on the Bottom Line Me podcast. So what's the bottom line on video uh, or video messaging or marketing? Uh, we didn't really get into it, but I would say just keep trying. Um, you're not going to find success in your first two to three videos, but keep trying. Keep practicing. Eventually, you know, practice makes perfect, as yeah. cliche as it might sound, but just keep doing it and yeah. you'll, you'll not only do better, but you'll grow your audience as well. Don't quit. Exactly. Great. Right. Well, thanks for being here today. We'll probably have you back again to talk a little bit more about this because a lot of questions are coming to mind for me. And I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of questions from our audience around this. So again, thanks so much. And to our audience, thank you for joining us today. And may you continue to learn, grow, and prosper. 